The kingdoms of southern Zhao and northern Yan have been engaged in a bloody war on the made-up continent of the Central Plains. The war is rekindled by an attempt on the life of southern Zhao, the king. But there isn't a field marshal in southern Zhao. Each of southern Zhao's eight clans sends three warriors to compete in a tournament to find a new one, at the recommendation of Grand Tutor Guan. The Qingyuan clan chooses a third warrior, Dong Ilong a young orphan robber, and Chu Hun, who is referred to as a deserter by the locals. Giant scorpions strike the three as they are journeying. Elong and Hun survive, but the third fighter is killed. Hun tells Elong that he and his brother fought against Northern Yin in a previous war. Hun's whole combat unit was slaughtered by Northern forces after Grand Tutor Guan refused to send reinforcements and he was later called a deserter for being the only one who survived. Grand Tutor Guan meets in secret with Wu Yang, a Northern Yin representative, and discloses that he was a double agent working for Northern Yin, plotting to overthrow the other kingdom from within. When Chu and Dong come upon Jing Yang, Lin Shen Han, a young girl attempting to steal a totem from another clan, she inadvertently escapes her assailants while being blown away in a sandstorm. Together with Jing Yang, who fights and loses over her stolen totem, Elong and Hun arrive in the capital city and join the other tournament competitors. Elong learns from Hun that he plans to murder Grand Tutor Guan for killing his brother. Jing Yang deceives Hun into purchasing a northern slave while they are looking for a replacement for their third team member. Elong and Hun reluctantly allow Jing Yang to represent the third member of the Qing Yuan clan since they couldn't find anyone else. Hun witnesses their new slave, trying to murder him while he is asleep. She reveals that she is Bi Nu, the daughter of a commander who was murdered by Hun's brother. After Bi Nu kills Grand Tutor Guan, Chu Hun says he will let Bi Nu to murder him. The competition starts with the first task, which requires each clan to move through a network of chains while attached to their teammates. The Falcon, Qing Yuan, and Zixuan clans end up winning the round, while the other clans are labeled losers and sent home. When Chu Hun confronts Grand Tutor Guan, he chooses not to murder him in order to prevent the collapse of the Qing Yuan clan. Grand Tutor Guan has secretly ordered the contenders from another clan to assault and murder the three before they make it to the finals. Now free, Binu goes back to her former owner to release other captive women. The second goal in the tournament is to steal an egg from the Beast King's cave. The Beast King is a snake-like creature that Southern Zhao created for battle and has a crown-like headgear buried in its scalp. The creature had been left in a mountain after the last war ended. By accident, Jing Yang uses a flower to poison Hun. He tells his teammates that there is a remedy inside the mountain since he is too weak to walk. The Beast King pursues the Falcon tribe after they steal the egg, causing them to drop it. In the course of grabbing the egg and evading the Beast King, Elong and Jing Gang manage to get the remedy for Hun's poison. Eventually, the creature becomes trapped in a tunnel. Elong assists in taking off the Beast King's helmet after noticing that it hurts. The monster departs from the group after Elong swears to return the egg following the competition. The three competitors are informed by Grand Tutor Guan that they must murder one another in order to be awarded the title of Field Marshal. The gang is discussing who should win when a cloaked woman enters and leads them to the enchanted mystic forest, where she promises to fix all of their troubles. Elong's late father's voice reveals that he is the Northern Yen Throne's heir and would restore harmony to the Central Plains. Furious that his teammate is from Northern Yen, Chu Hun walks off, Jing Yang trailing him. In the woods, Bi Nu encounters Hun and explains that she has come to the realization that her hatred of Southern Zhao has held her more tightly than her actual chains. After reconsidering, Hun returns to locate his teammates. Grand Tutor Guan's goons attack Jing Yang in the forest. When Chu Hun tries to save her, she is slain, and Hun is taken prisoner. Jing Yang is located and buried by Dong Ilong. He meets with the Falcon Clan's chief and tells him that Grand Tutor Guan planned the entire contest to kill the King of Southern Zhao 
and split the clans. In an attempt to rescue the kingdom, Ilong orders him to track down and return the chiefs of the other clans. Chu Han is given an execution sentence after being falsely accused of killing members of one tribe. On the other hand, Ilong shows up and requests permission to battle Han while pretending to be a traitor. At first, Chu Han accepts his fate, but Ilong persuades him to keep fighting. With Northern Yin soldiers concealed among the throngs of people crowding the cities, Grand Tutor Guan begins his scheme. As Han and Ilong battle through waves of soldiers attempting to approach the king, Grand Tutor Guan gives the order to have him taken to a pavilion. Grand Tutor Guan discloses that he had constructed the pavilion with the express purpose of trapping and murdering the king. Before being unintentionally slain, Wu Yang bows to Ilong after realizing that he is the heir apparent to the Northern Yin Kingdom. Grand Tutor Guan's dog attacks Chu Hun, who nearly perishes but is spared by Bi Nu's selfless sacrifice. To help the monarch, the other clans show up. Grand Tutor Guan tries to steam the monarch to death by filling the arena with ignited oil. Hun murders Grand Tutor Guan, and the Falcon Clan's commander gives his life to rescue the king from the flaming pavilion. Chu Hun is named Grand Field Marshal after Guan's scheme is thwarted. Elon goes back to the Beast King to deliver its egg, and Jing Gang receives a title as a posthumous tribute. Elon departs from Chu Hun and goes back to Northern Yan to take back his kingdom.